Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lexus Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny Sunday, what is up? Today I'm bringing you an extra special video, number one, because it is actually my last thrift with me of 2019, and I figured we would end this year off with a bane by filming with an extra special guest, which you guys will find out soon. I did just wanna mention real quick that today's video is actually sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business, which we'll be talking about a little bit later in the video. I'm going to head on over to LA actually, because that's where I'm meeting my mystery guest. You guys already know who it is because of the thumbnail, but I'm just going to keep this little bit going. Let's head on over to LA. She's here with me, Haley from Haley's Corner. My goodness, I have talked about you on my channel for such a long time. Oh, I mean, like so posit sweet. positively. I, I, yeah, obviously Haley is here in LA and we are going to go thrifting. So I don't specifically live in LA. And so a lot of times I never really go thrifting in LA. And because I was located here, I was like, I don't have my car, so maybe you can make the trip down here. And she was sweet enough to do it. So I'm so excited. We're actually going to thrift in LA. She hasn't been to this location, right? Uh-uh. So yeah. we're going to locations that I've never been to. Literally, I think I've only been to one or two Goodwills in LA. I'm very yeah. excited. I'm excited too. I'm, and we both kind of talked about how we aren't really looking for anything specific. Yeah. Like, we're both pretty open. Obviously, we're pretty hardcore thrifters. So mm -hmm. we, we know the drill. We know what to expect. And I mean, Toronto's kind of super freezing right now. So if I can score some nice wonders stuff, Stuff, that'd be great but my hopes aren't so high we're just we're just going yeah. we're gonna have fun we're gonna see what there is and I'm just so excited to be here let's go <laughs> so I was asking Haley like oh where do you start first and she was like I always start with the denim and I was like this is why our friendship works So the one thing I do notice, this Goodwill, I mean, some of it is categorized by color, but a lot of it is not, which then it's also not categorized by size. So this is the real thrift journey. I'm still trying to like figure out what the like layout is of this store. It's a pretty good size too. And the natural light in here is amazing. It's basically just all windows, which is really nice. It's actually really cute. I really like the colors. We are gonna go over to these sweaters. Even though I already kind of did like a winter like thrift with me, I'm always up for a good sweater or sweatshirt. Pricing wise, it seems pretty typical. It's like $6.99 J. Crew sweater. Honestly, if this was just this and not a big hole in the back, obviously I could wear a jacket or put something under it. I think the color would have been really nice. Now this is an interesting sweater. It's from WW, but it kind of looks like that's just a paint on the thing. It doesn't say how much it is. It's very funky. I don't know. I don't think it would look good on me though. I don't know why, but I freaking love this jacket. It's originally from a company called Townie from London Fog. Just gonna put it in my cart. Just a thought. This Goodwill's really long, so now I'm going into the bottom section. Hello, friend. Oh, you found one thing. Eh, I don't even know if I like it. Yeah. It's kind of like the button detail, but I like the color. I don't have a plan, and then right. Haley also doesn't have a plan. We're just kind of like, we're just yeah. gonna go and- We're just gonna thrift and like see what we find. Which has its positives mm -hmm. like and negatives. Color. I know, right? It's not the color of the week, unfortunately. Not really um, finding anything, Alexa. That's a nice skirt. It's very see-through. Like, I can kind of see yeah, it. It's not a good idea. <laughs> but I really, I mean, I like the, the pattern. <laughs> So some people well, so I did that. Really yeah. Like the butt looks like it would. But then for some reason the front just looks so wide. Yeah. And then also I'm like, is it more like mid-length, you know? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so 
we did our best. We went in there. We went all around. Just weren't, just weren't feeling it. Yeah. Beautiful, like, just windows and everything very clean, but just wasn't, just didn't have the vibes. We're going to take a look at another thrift store to go to. Mm -hmm. This is just the reality of specifically, like, thrifting in LA, but honestly, thrifting in general, you know? Well, you did kind of warn me that it was yeah. like, it, it tends to be a little bit more picked over probably. Yeah. And I saw kind of a few people in there that you could see that they knew what they were doing. Yeah. So right away you see those people and you're like, okay, we may have to go to a different location. Mm -hmm. So we are in our Goodwill location number two. I went here with Leah and Carrie a couple, I think like a month ago yeah. and it was pretty good. And, then, and I was here like two days ago. Yeah. So hopefully they restock some good, good yeah. stuff. It's but. a, it's a pretty big size. Like mm -hmm. it's a lot bigger than the one that we were just at. So. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. So, fingers crossed, yeah. high hopes. Let's go. So I'm kind of in like the pajama-ish section and I was really trying to find a slip dress for Haley because she said that she's been really wanting to find one but literally like there's nothing. There's maybe this, but that's that's basically it. This is actually quite cute. It says it's an extra small, it's by Guess. I think it's $7. I just think the that's kind of nice. I just don't know. It seems extremely low cut, so I don't know. I'll just grab it. The dressing rooms are pretty terrible here, so I don't know if I'll be able to even try it on. So I found this dress and Haley was like, did you try it on? And I was like, well, no, like their dressing rooms are kind of weird. But then I realized I can just like put it on what I'm wearing right now. We are both not really finding that much so it's an interesting trip but again it's the reality of thrifting this is a look yeah I think I can definitely yeah definitely yeah. oh my god that's your perfect size so cute Alrighty, so we have made it back home obviously and of course i completely forgot to end the actual thrifting portion with Haley. we ended up getting lunch and just talked for like hours honestly she is just the nicest human being and we connected so much which is why i feel like we both didn't really film so she says goodbye i think she's back in canada right now i do have to say la thrifting is obviously a lot different depending on where you are at in la we were like santa monica Hollywood type of area, but you know, we found stuff we may do with what we have I just want to like throw that in because a lot of people will comment and be like I'm so jealous that you live in LA trust me LA thrifting is like terrible But I obviously still did well like I have an entire bag filled it with goodwill goodies So I think overall it went well the first thing I ended up getting Haley actually was like hyping me up for it because I saw it and I was like I don't know and then she like saw that I was looking at it and she's like oh yeah like this is really cute I haven't tried it on yet so I'm hoping it's not too like booby because it is a little bit low cut it is originally from guess it looks like this it's almost like an orange red but it has this really nice detail kind of that corset style detail you can unattach the little rings here but then the shirt won't open there's like a material behind it which is always great you know you don't want anything opening when it's not supposed to open this one was six dollars and 99 cents as i said i'm getting into red so i felt like that was kind of perfect and because it is a little bit more of like chest i can wear a lot of necklaces on it and it's really soft like it's really like stretchy which is why i keep like just moving it all around because it's so soft and stretchy. So I'm really hopeful about this one. The next thing I got, I just thought was funny. I am a lover of The Office. I don't know what I like better, The Office or Parks and Rec. I feel like Parks and Rec really like kept it going even to the last season. Whereas I feel like The Office, like the last season or like the last couple episodes, I don't know. I felt like they lost their juice when Steve Carell left, but it was also still amazing because I love The Office and I literally don't care. Anyway, I got this shirt, which is just like, the office crew thought it was quite funny. It was a dollar ninety nine, and I think somebody literally just like printed off the office on here. Now I don't know who I am in the office to be honest. Then you guys saw me try this on, and I'm so happy I found it. They had so many dresses, and it's so hard to like go into it when you don't have a cart and like you have stuff, especially when I'm trying to film. So it was a little bit difficult to even just find dresses in general. But I saw this actual like pattern, and I was like, 
and it was only $8.99 and it is originally from Forever 21. It doesn't say the size that it is. It's like a midi dress and it kind of has that same like slip style satin dress as like the pajama satin dresses that I've been thrifting lately and I just am really into this like cheetah print. Honestly, it's Carrie's fault. She is 100% like made me fall back in love with it. Then weirdly enough, I said I think in Wednesday's video that it has been so difficult to find a corduroy jacket and then I found one was super happy. It was like $18 and then I found this one. Oh, it was $14. It was $14.99. So I mean like not that big of a difference. The thing I do like about this is it is quite worn. There is a hole inside, so that's interesting. It's originally from Hawk and it is in a large and I just thought it was really funny that I've been searching for a jacket like this for so long and then I just happened to find two. This one is a little bit more tan than the other one. I feel like the other one has like a slight hint of green in it. Kind of reminds me of like a mountain man. I may honestly give this to my boyfriend. Oh my god, we could totally be matching. We already have matching denim jackets and now we may have some twinning corduroy jackets. <laughs> There's a lot of hair in this though. I need to like vacuum this jacket up. Then I found this sweater. It looks like it would be really itchy. When it first like caught my eye, I was like, oh, that's gonna be super itchy. Happened to feel it, not itchy really. It's originally from H&M. It is in a medium and I got it for $6.99 and it's kind of like a mock neck sweater. I have kind of like a similar one that I got last year and I love that thing to death. And I haven't thrifted any cream sweaters this year, which is just crazy. I feel like I've barely even thrifted sweaters in general. And then this one really doesn't have to do with any of the other pieces. I don't really have a theme, if you can tell. I was really just getting whatever the thrift store was throwing at me. I saw this and I figured it would be really good in the spring. It is originally from Forever 21 but it's a really old tag so I think it's just a really old shirt but it's this really like delicate it is quite see-through so I have to wear a tank top under it or I guess no I wouldn't wear a turtleneck that could look a little bit weird such an interesting kind of chiffon material and the sleeves are kind of this like elastic sleeve it was five dollars and 99 cents and I was just thinking this like tucked in I think it would be like so pretty let me okay I don't know why I'm even showing you when there's the try on portion it was a piece I didn't even know I wanted but the lace is really pretty on there and I'm really excited about this gosh darn December is over basically I mean it's going to be done in the next couple of days I am just ready to take on my style evolution for 2020 I feel like these pieces didn't really show it off but I mean there is a dress I have something red I feel like that is a perfect summary of what 2020 will potentially be with my style. Like I said, today's video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace's all-in-one platform gives you everything you need to run your business, whether you're just getting started or an established brand. Their powerful platform helps your business website grow. And obviously with 2020 coming up, whether it's photography, blogging, or even starting your own online business, 2020 is your year to use Squarespace to make your dreams a reality. They have awesome templates to help choose what kind of website you actually want especially when it comes to online stores. You can actually pick how you want your items to be displayed to really help create an expressive online website by having rich product displays, including videos and also image zoom, helpful automatic inventory management, and powerful shipping calculator feature. You can also sell services, so not only just physical goods, you can schedule appointments with online bookings and calendars, collect customer emails, and build mailing lists. Make sure you head on over to squarespace.com to get a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash alexasunshine83 to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So again, thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alexsunshine83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. I hope you guys have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!